Good day, sir. I am Noreen Chinaid and I'm going to demonstrate the administration of OTIC installation. So, installation or irrigation of the external auditory canal are generally carried out for the cleaning purposes. The purpose is to soften earwax so that it can be removed readily at the later time. Next is to provide local therapy and reduce inflammation and destroy infective organisms in the external ear canal and to relieve pain. So the indication is to provide ear medication used to remove foreign bodies and chemicals that may harm the ear. So for the special considerations for the infants and children, immobilize the child to prevent injuries during the procedures. For the infants below three years of age, pull the pina down down and back and for the children above three years of age pull the pina up and back and warm drops to avoid causing pain in the tympanic membrane for the equipment needed clean gloves cotton tape applicator correct medication with a dropper flexible rubber tape for the end of a dropper cotton cloth and for the irrigation you can add basin moisture resistant towel irrigating solution at the appropriate temperature at the 500 ml as ordered container for the irrigating solution and syringe so the first procedure is to check the medication card as the doctor's order and check the patient's history of allergy next is to know the action the purpose of the administration and the adverse effect of the medication the third one is to perform hand hygiene so let's assume that we already do the hand hygiene and and put on the PPE. Next is to get the medication from the patient's medication storage box and compare the label with the drug action in the medication card. Then check the expiration date to ensure that the medical errors can be avoided and will be given to the correct patients. So next is to approach the patient's room and identify the patient by asking him or her his name and double check his identification wristband. Good afternoon, sir. Ako ni Aysinor Ain, student nurse from MSU IIT. So, please state your name, sir. Jolani Dibaraton. Jolani Dibaraton. So, karon sir, kay mag-administer ko tambal para sa infection sa mong dalunggan. So, next is to provide the client's privacy to reduce the anxiety of the patient. The next is to wash your hands and put on gloves. So let's assume that we already already do the hand washing and putting of gloves to reduce the spreadness of the microorganisms. The next is to cleanse the external ear, the pina, the pina and the myotis of auditory canal of any drainage with using the cotton ball or any washcloth. Um, wash cloth with normal saline. So let's assume that this is a wash cloth moistened with normal saline. So let's cl we cleanse the external ear. Then after that, place the patient in the position where the unaffected kay nasa ilalum then ang affected na infection kay nasa uppermost. So, na, nakatakilit yung head. Ana. Then next is to administer the medication of the otic drops. So first is, we draw the amount of solution into the droppers. Then do not return the excess solution to a stock bottle. Then straighten the straighten the auditory canal by pulling the pina up and back. So bale adult man siya, so we pull the pina up and back. Kay if child kay pull the pina down and back. So we pull the pina up and back. Then we. Pull the pina up and back. Then, but nga na to, kaan, i-drop na to ang solution sa iyong ear. Then, do not touch the 
auditory canal narrows the gawas then after that allow the drops to fall into the side of the canal then release the pina after instilling the drops to the ear then after that gently press the tragus of the ear para masulod ang medication sa dalunggan then we we press this tragus gently few times then after that if ordered you insert a cotton ball para dili jud mugawas ang medication so let's assume that this is a cotton ball kay wala may cotton ball so atong i-insert sa dalunggan so patient For the ear irrigation, protect the patient and the bed with a waterproof pad and a basin under the ear. So, put nga na pag basin sa iyang sa ilalong sa iyang dalunggan for para dili what well, if ever na ay mayabong solution kay dili mabasa ang online sa patient. Then let's assume nga na ay waterproof pad. Then after that, fill the bulb of the syringe with warm solution. Then if an irrigating container is used, prime the tubing. So let's assume nga na ane, na fill na ang syringe of warm solution. Then straight. Next is to straighten the auditory canal by pulling the pina up and back. Then after that, direct a steady, slow stream of solution against the root of the auditory canal allow solution to flow out unimpeded so straighten up the auditory canal then straighten up the auditory canal by pulling the pina up and back then slowly Put the solution into the ear, then do not touch the ear. Then after that, place a cotton ball. So let's assume na po nga, this is a cotton ball. Place the cotton ball into the ear. Then, after placing the cotton ball, return after 10 to 15 minutes to remove the cotton ball and, and the excess in drainage. So, after 10 to 15 minutes, remove the gloves and assist the patient to a comfortable position. So, sir, pwede na kang higdan tayo, sir. Then, after... Assisting the patient into a comfortable position, remove the ad additional PPE, so perform hand hygiene, then document the time and the sign of the medication in the patient's record. So evaluate the patient's response to the medication within the appropriate time frame.